When your wife asks you if she is fat, tell her she's fat. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Or if she's wearing a dress that you don't like, but she has spent a million bucks <laughs> buying the dress and making her face up. And then she asks you, how do I look? I dare you to tell her she's ugly. <laughs> Hi guys, I trust you're well. Um, there is something that I've experienced. It's no new thing. It's a no-brainer. No, the Bible makes it very clear. And you will see it in your life. How when you are saying something that is true, people tend to reject you. They don't like you. They don't want to be around you. There is this thing uh, I have heard Igbo people say. I don't know if it is a Yoruba version for a version of it. I think there must be, but I don't know. It says when brothers go into a room to talk and come out smiling and patting each other on the back, then you know they've been lying to each other. But when they come out and their faces are strong, then you know that they've probably been telling each other the truth because truth hurts I do remember a very painful experience several years ago I say it's painful because it was painful several years ago it was it about 15 years now I don't know I had a meeting with my family my siblings and uh, I made a request and one of my sisters turned on me and she said some very very painful things it still stings I'm telling you because I think that I still think my idea was a good one but she literally ripped me to pieces <laughs> and um, it took me a while to get over it but well life moved forward what am i trying to say when we are sincere with each other it hurts and because of that people learn to lie to each other take for example as a man as a husband in fact i dare you to try this when your wife asks you if she is fat tell her she's fat <laughs> i dare you <laughs> i dare you or if she's wearing a dress that you don't like but she has spent a million bucks <laughs> buying the dress and making her face up and then she asks you how do i look I dare you to tell her she's ugly. <laughs> oh, oh, she like uh, the song. The, was it? You go to an expensive saloon and you come out looking like an expensive baboon. Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. You went to make your hair in an expensive saloon. You came back looking like an expensive baboon. I don't know what I could tell you, sir, but be happy. So don't worry. Be happy now. Where am I going with this? The truth hurts. It's not comfortable. It's not easy. It's difficult to hear the truth. And so because of that, we tend to lash out against those who tell the truth. And also because of that, those who tell the truth tend to conceal it, to sugarcoat it, to soften it, to water it down because you don't want to offend others. I am telling you that is the root behind many of the wokeness, many of the new ideas that are pervading our world today. We don't want to offend. So because, because in a place like the UK right now, you put a post on social media, the police can knock on your door. I've heard it happens also in Australia. Probably, well, it's not too far away in the US. I mean, they come after you. I mean, in the US, they literally could kill you. In the UK, they would lock you up. In Australia, yeah, something similar. Why am I saying this? we who call ourselves children of god we are charged with a responsibility the bible says 
All power in heaven and on earth, Jesus said that when he was about to ascend to heaven, has been given unto me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And behold, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. It's an order, it's a commandment, it's an instruction. It's not, it's not for you different and for that person different. All of us who are called God's own, all of us who, are, who say we have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are called to be laborers in this, in this, in this regard, to go and teach all nations. But when we go and teach all nations, because we don't want to offend, because the truth is bitter, because we know that it hurts, we begin to sugarcoat it. But let me tell you something that happened in the Old Testament. Moses went into the presence of God, this is Exodus 34, and he spoke with God and he even asked that God should reveal himself to him and God showed him, God passed in front of him, allowed him to see him. When Moses came out of the presence of God, his face was shining so bright, the people could not look at his face. His face was shining so bright. He brought the commandments, he brought the testament of God that he wanted to give to the people. But the people could not look at his face. So every time Moses wanted to talk to them, the people demanded, required that he cover his face. So when time he went back to God, he removed the veil. But when time he came back to the people, he covered his face so that people could be able to approach him. What the Bible tells us, I believe in uh, First Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 3 or 2, is that that veil of covering concealed the truth, the fullness of the power of God that he wanted to reveal to the people at that time. And if you recall correctly, when Jesus died, when he said, it is finished, when he gave up the ghost, the veil of the temple was torn. The veil that kept the people separated from the presence of God in the Holy of Holies was ripped apart. Saying this, there is no longer need to conceal the truth. There is no longer need to water down the reality of what God wants to give us. Problem is many of us still do it today because we don't want to offend because we don't want to be ostracized because we don't want the people to hate us but in so doing we are keeping the same people we claim to love from learning the truth think about this beautiful example i heard china and mclean give it say i go outside i'll link that video here say i go outside and i see a snake, a dangerous snake, a rattlesnake like in the US. And I run back inside and I see a friend of mine now going outside. Am I going to say because I love them and I don't want to offend them, I'm not going to warn them that there is a snake outside? I take my dog downstairs, I unlock the door. What do I see? I see a snake in the yard. So I grab my dog, rush back inside, close, lock the door. And then I go back upstairs where I left you. I see that you've gotten up and you're about to leave the room. And I'm like, wait, where are you going? And you're like, I wanted to go to the backyard too. And I say, okay, I'll see you when you get back. You head out there to get some fresh air and oh, a snake bites you. China, why didn't you tell me? I am required, I am obligated. I am called to do exactly that, especially if I care about that person. If I don't tell that person, it's because I don't care. Now I know that judgment is coming. I know that if I remain in my sin, I am going to die. And if you remain in your sin, you are going to hell forever. I know it. So am I now going to be quiet and say because I don't want to offend? Now if you told me, oh, I'm going to the backyard to get some air. And I said, oh, no, 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 don't go back there. I just saw a snake back there. Would giving you that information be forcing something down your throat? Forcing my beliefs on you? No, it's showing you that I love you. Listen, there are different ways in which we put a veil over our eyes these days. Sometimes we keep quiet. Sometimes we sugarcoat what we are saying. Sometimes we don't 
we, 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 we see something else. But we are not helping these people. Um, Ezekiel chapter 3 and also chapter 33 kind of say the same thing. It says we are watchmen. We are called. I made a video about that. I'll link it uh, up there. We are watchmen. We are called to warn the people. When we see that a battle is coming, we are on the, I don't know what they call it, banister? I don't know what they call it. We are on the wall, watchtower, and we are seeing the battle coming. We need to warn the people that there is a battle coming. And you see, we use, the Bible says, we use great plainness of speech. There is no need to sugarcoat it. <sighs> Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, they are not of the Father. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. This is a call. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to disseminate what you know to be true. It will hurt. The people have itching ears. They don't want to hear what is true. So they will ostracize you. Everywhere you go and tell the truth, they will make mockery of you. Trust me, you are in good company. They did it to Jesus, they did it to Paul, Peter. Everybody that spoke the truth was ostracized. Jeremiah, Isaiah, the prophets of old, and the prophets of these days. So right now, this is the point I'm making. The veil needs to come off. Stop hiding. When the spirit of truth is come, when the comforter is come, he will reprove the world of sin. Of righteousness and of judgment of sin is going to tell us that we are sinners of righteousness is going to tell us that we need righteousness which is the righteousness of Jesus Christ of judgment is going to tell us that judgment is coming and the sooner we run into the salvation of God the sooner we are saved that's what Holy Spirit does so if Holy Spirit is living in me he's demanding he's crying he's groaning that I speak these words to the world around me. When I am quiet, I am in disobedience to the Holy Spirit. So I'm calling out to everybody who calls themselves children of God. Everybody calls themselves saved. It is time to begin to speak the word, regardless of how much it hurts, regardless of whose her ox is bored. I'm not saying be careless or senseless. I'm not saying be callous. I'm saying be caring enough to tell the truth. This world is ending. The signs are all around us. We can talk about that too in another video. Right now, I'm going to stop there. Ask a question, leave a comment, whatever. You know, uh, click on like and share this video. There are a lot of people in the world who need to receive this. And if you think I'm being hypocritical, challenge me too. I want to answer these questions. I want to respond to you. And I want to make more videos that address these issues. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.